What's up friends, my name is Jess. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you know me at all, you know that I am a completionist, but I am also a procrastinator, which means I have a ton of series that are unfinished and aggravate the living hell out of me because they are unfinished. So the purpose of this video was to figure out all the series that I haven't finished reading yet and also figure out for myself if I think they're worth continuing or if I should just let them rest and officially DNF the rest of the series. But after scrolling through my entire Goodreads history, I realized that the actual complete list is ridiculously long. So I wrote down the complete list for myself, but I'm not gonna make y'all suffer through that entire thing in one video. And instead, I'm just gonna give you like 10 books in three different categories. One, the series that I will definitely be finishing, or at least I intend to right now. Two, the series that I do not plan on finishing. And then three, the series that I'm kind of on the fence about. I haven't decided yet if I want to finish them. Of course, I would love to hear your thoughts, so make sure to drop a comment down below, especially if you disagree with any of my decisions regarding whether or not to read a series, because your opinion might change my mind. It might move a book from one category to another. Oh, also, I'm going to be mentioning like 30 different series, so this is going to be a little bit of a quick video. I'm really not going to say more than the title and a couple comments about it. Starting with the series that I do plan on finishing, we have Girls of Paper and Fire. I read this first book sometime last year, I think it was last summer, and I decided to wait on continuing the series until the final book came out, which I think it came out in like November. So it's been many a month since then, but it's okay, we'll get there. Next we have The Red Rising Saga by Pierce Brown. I did read the original trilogy, but I want to read the sequel trilogy, which happens like 10 years after the ending of the third book. And I heard that the final book in the entire saga is supposed to come out this December. I don't know how accurate that is, but it would be very convenient if I finished the whole series by the end of this year. Next, we have the Diviner series by Libba Bray. I read the first book as an audiobook like two years ago. I really liked the audiobook, but I was less used to listening to audiobooks. So I want to reread this book physically and make sure I actually know everything that happened before continuing with the series. Next is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Libba Bardugo. I read the first book so many years ago. I think it was like freshman year of high school maybe. And I had checked it out of the library. And then for some reason I stopped using libraries for many years and I just completely forgot about the series entirely. But I remember liking it. Next we've got the Witcher series. I love the show. I loved The Last Wish less. This is technically the first book in the series, but it's a collection of short stories. And back when I read this, I just was not a short stories person. I don't really think I am now, but I'm better about short stories. I'm more capable of appreciating them. So I want to give this another try and I want to finish the entire series. Next, we've got the Wayward Children series by Shauna McGuire. I literally just read the first book in this series like a couple weeks ago. I loved it. It was exactly my vibe. I'm going to read every single one. Next, we have the Millennium series that was originally written by Stieg Larsson, but is now being written by David Lagerkrantz? Lagerkrantz? I don't know how to say the last name, I'm very sorry. This is a bit of a guilty pleasure series because the depiction of women in this series really leaves something to be desired sometimes, but I, I, can't, I don't know what to tell you, I really loved it. I have read the first five books, I just need to read the latest edition. Another guilty pleasure is the Plantagenet and Tudor novels by Philippa Gregory. I'm so certain that I pronounced that first word incorrectly. These are historical fiction novels that I'm absolutely sure are not actually historically accurate. I love them so much. I've read like three of them and there's so many books in the collection and I think it would be really cool to read all of them in like historical order even though I think all of them can be read as standalones. Next is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang that almost fell out of the dust jacket. I am working my way through this series slowly but actively. At the time of filming this I'm actually in the middle of reading The Dragon Republic which is the second book in the series. And then the last series that I absolutely want to finish is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. Obviously, of course, it's great. I have read the first four volumes. I think I just need to finish volume five. Moving on to series that I have no plans to finish. We have Dune by Frank Herbert. You can watch my Linguathon vlog for more in-depth feelings about this book, but basically it dragged on for far too long. I read summaries of the sequels online and it just sounded batshit and convoluted. So no thank you. I'm okay. Next we have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I think I'm just too old for this book, which is going to be the reason for a lot of the series in this category. 
story. But I wanted something different out of this book and it just felt kind of basic and like too young. Next we've got Divergent by Veronica Roth. I've only ever read the first book. I think this is a series that does not hold up today. Next we've got the Aristotle and Dante series. The first one I think being Aristotle and Dante uncover the secrets of the universe. I just really didn't like this first book. I can't even remember why I didn't like it but I, I didn't vibe with it so I don't want to read the sequel. And then next which really should come as no surprise to anyone who's been on my channel for a while, Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I still haven't unhauled this. It'll be purged out of my house soon enough. The main character was so annoying and not nearly as badass as she pretended to be. I hated this book. All right and then Winger by Andrew Smith is another book that I just feel like I'm probably too old <laughs> to really enjoy it. I don't even remember what happens in this book to be honest but I mean just based on the cover I think I'm not the target audience anymore. And then we've got Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I really enjoyed this book when I read it. Let's not ruin it by having what I think is an unnecessary sequel. And speaking of unnecessary sequels, Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween. Yes, this is the book that eventually inspired my channel name. I am very fond of this book, but I read it when I was younger when I was the target audience for it. And the companion book that has since come out, I just, I don't have the nostalgia necessary to love that book, having already aged out of the target audience. A lot of this is about being in the target audience because we've got The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I don't think at 24, I would enjoy this entire series anymore. I've only read the first one. I think this is probably not one of the series that holds up today and is still enjoyable as an adult. I don't think it is. I haven't heard people say it is. And then the last series that I have no intentions of continuing is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Similar feeling as I had with Ready Player One. I really, really loved this book and I don't want to ruin the magic of it. Onto the series that I am on the fence about, starting with The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I read the first two books. I liked the series well enough, but God, Damn, it takes so much energy to read these books. They are massive. There's a lot of information. There's just something about the world. It takes a lot of energy out of you. Next, we've got the Montague Siblings series by Mackenzie Lee. I really enjoyed the first book. I would have loved to continue the series because I was really interested in the sequel, which was following the sister. But Mackenzie Lee has had some problematic moments. And honestly, I can't even remember what it is that she did now. It's been a long time and I don't have very good memory, but I remember that I felt uncomfortable with it. So I don't know what to do about that. Next, we've got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I read the first two books. I really, really liked them, but I'm kind of worried that they just aren't as good as a fully grown adult. Okay, speaking of problematic authors though, Maximum Riot series by Jane Patterson. I don't even know how many books in this series that I read, but the Maximum Riot series I remember was one of my favorite series as a kid. I loved that series. And I fully recognize now as an adult that I don't think the series was objectively very good. And also James Patterson is also very problematic and I remember how he was problematic, how he is problematic actively present day. Plus the series is like ridiculously long. It's like 12 books long. Next we've got Something is Killing the Children by James Tiny in the fourth. I read the first five issues of this graphic novel and I just, I didn't click with it, but I know several people whose opinions I trust who really enjoyed this. So I'm tempted to keep going and see what I'm missing. All right, next we have The Chronicles of Prestomancy by Diana Wynne Jones. This series has amazing Studio Ghibli vibes. It's a pretty fun child childhood-like read. But the issue is that at the end of this first volume, it got kind of weird. I remember there being some depictions that seemed extremely racist, and I don't know what that was about, because it seemed so out of place in the rest of the story. I don't know if the rest of the series is like that. I am still so very confused about it, because unless everything else just flew over my head, it came out of left field, okay? Next, we've got the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett. This book, The Color of Magic, is the only one that I've read in the series, and it was good, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for when I decided to read it. But the thing is, one of my friends really adores this series and I trust her. So I think I want to keep pushing through and maybe read a couple more of the books. All right, we are down to the last three series. We have The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. Aragon is the only one that I've read. It felt very young and it also felt very basic, which is maybe not something that I should say because I know this is a very classic fantasy series. And maybe the reason why I feel like it's basic is because fantasy series that have come out since have been building off of this and like this was the original. I don't know the history of young adult fantasy. It's a classic. Does that mean I should continue this series? I don't know. Next we've got the Madman's Daughter series by Megan Shepard. I don't remember this series being so amazing that I need to continue but I've read the first two books. There's only one book left in the series so like why not? And then the final series that I am on 
the Fence About is matched by Ali Kongi. I have only read the first book in this series. I am like almost 100% sure that this is not a series that holds up today, but I don't know. There's something about it. I just want to know what it was all about. It's one of the YA series from like, what is it? The 2010s that just sticks out to me still. So we just went through 30 different series and honestly, the full complete list of all the unfinished series I have is so much longer than that. If you want a part two to this video, I'm happy to do so, but I mean, I already have so many series that I need to work through. I'm just going to focus on these for now. And again, if you have an opinion on any of these series, if you think I have unjustly dismissed one of them, or if you don't want me wasting my time on one of the series that I have said, I really want to finish, please comment below. And of course, make sure to subscribe so you can see new bookish videos from me. I try to put out a video every single Saturday. I will see you in the next one.